you probably didn't do nothing to them. You probably didn't disrespect them in any kind of way. I mean, it's not like there's anything in your teeth, right? They're looking at you for some weird type of reason. And I'm going to talk about why. Welcome to the Mindset Elevator, everybody. Thank you kindly for joining me on my channel. I really appreciate all of you guys being here and for all the support that you guys have been given. It's really humbly appreciated and accepted. And I hope you guys are all doing well. And of course, thank you very, very kindly for 20K subscribers. It is extremely, almost unbelievable, and it's very, very well received. I really appreciate the support. I'm happy you guys like the content, and I am definitely gonna keep putting forth a lot of more hard-hitting content for all of you guys here. For all of you guys who are subscribed uh, very newly, reoccurring, for all those who just stop by once in a while, you guys are all loved and appreciated here. So thank you very much for the ongoing support. I love you guys all. Keep working on yourselves, okay? Yeah, you probably got those dirty looks every now and then, right? You get these dirty looks when you're in public, from strangers, from people you do not know, people in the community who are who are supposed to be of service to you. These people are probably looking at you a little funny, looking at you sideways, right? You probably didn't do nothing to them, or perhaps it's your own bloodline. You know, you go around these people, they're looking at you like you did something to them, like you owe them something, like you hurt them, like you troubled them. And a lot of times you're just sitting there minding your business and you're not even trying to uh, trouble anybody here, or perhaps at the workplace, right? It's like every time you clock in, every time you clock out, when you're on the job, when you're on the clock, these people are looking at you, your own employee, you know, your coworkers, you know, they're looking at you weird. They're looking at you like you... You're doing something wrong or you're, you shouldn't be there, right? I'm telling you, I've experienced, you know, many types of dirty looks from all types of people in all types of environments, especially the ones I've just mentioned here. And it's very uncanny and it's also very strange how you will believe that you didn't do nothing to these people, but yet they look at you like you have or they look at you like you've done something to them. A lot of times it's simply because of your light. People will give you dirty looks because they see your light. Even the people who move most poorly in life can see your light. So it's not like you are, you know, it's not like you did anything to them because that's what you're going to feel. That's the energy you're probably getting is like, oh, like what? What did I do? Right. A lot of times it's your light. Your light is triggering. And so a lot of people are going to give you this kind of stank face like, huh, you know, and it's a lot of times because they feel your energy and you're a very high vibrating person. They're going to feel like, well, you know what? You know, I don't know what they're so happy about. And they kind of show it. It's almost like an internal thing that comes to the surface. So a lot of times when people feel your light and they see your light, they first internalize it. They are very aware of how you make them feel, how when you come into the room, how the room changes. They're very aware of that. So first they internalize. At least I believe this is what's happening here. They internalize how they feel when you're around, but then they can't hide the feeling. So it comes out in a negative way where these people are now looking at you kind of weird, like, huh? Anytime you walk in the room, you're going to work, right? You're clocking in just the same way that they clocked in and you're thinking that everything's cool amongst you and your coworkers. I mean, there's probably no bad blood between you and them. You just pull up like anybody else did. And they seem to all have like, you know, they're, they're cool with each other. But when you walk in, they're all looking at you very oddly, you know, and you just walked in like there, there was no negative interaction that occurred here. And there never has to be when people feel your energy. That's all it takes. Right. When you go around your blood, your brother, your sister, whoever it could be, you know, an aunt, a cousin, I'm talking about even your mother or your father an in-law, it doesn't really matter. These people, when they come around you and they know that you're a high spirited person, they're going to feel kind of pressed. They're going to look at you in some kind of odd way. Like you did something to them or there's something that you should have done that you didn't do. Like these people look at you like, you know, there's some unresolved business here that needs to be taken care of. No, there's unresolved business within themselves. You know, it's projection. It's a problem. Projection is really a problem because when people do not, when people do not heal their inner demons, these demons start coming out and they start attacking people like you who are of sound mind, who has been healing and who doesn't go for the drama. And so people will look at you kind of weird because they know that you're not with it. You're not with that problem or these problems or that type of drama or the, that kind of mayhem. You're not with it. 
people will stare at you because they're upset that you're a very attractive person. I mean, like it really it comes down to these simple things. You may be a very attractive person. And as I've said in some of my other videos, you being attractive is skin deep. So not only may you be physically attractive, but you're also deeply, you know, intellectually attractive. You know, there's a lot more to you than meets the eye. And people will kind of look at you in a weird way, like, huh, you know, like who does she think she is? Who does he think he is, right? Because they see that you're attractive and they see that it's not what's on you and, and, they, and it troubles them. So they'll give you kind of dirty looks, but what they're really trying to convey here is like, I don't understand how that can be. I don't understand how they could look this way and I know what they look like, but there's something deeper and I don't like it. Once again, it's an internalization first of these feelings that they can't help but bring about. Some people just wear their emotions on their sleeves, right? And so when people, when you bring about even like, sometimes you bring about disgust in, in people, you know, in their selves, like people who look at you and they look at you like they're disgusted. They're really disgusted with themselves or upset, feeling low about themselves. Once again, projection. People will give you dirty looks because you actually do extremely well. For example, if you're the type of person who's a high achiever at work and, you know, you got top employee of the month or something like that, right? You may see some of your coworkers looking at you like, you know, with a stank face. Like they're upset, like they're jealous, they're envious. It shouldn't be you. You know, it shouldn't be you, anybody else but you, right? And so, yeah, you could be achieving a lot of great things in the workplace or sharing your news with family and friends and people are giving you stank faces or some people are staying quiet. They're not actually like telling you anything, saying any words, but they're showing you with their eyes and with their facial expressions, with their grimaces, how they really feel about your achievements. And it's because you're doing well. So people will just simply look at you funny because you're doing very well for yourself. And once again, this internalization of, oh, like, how, how, why is it them? Why not me? That should have been me. That should have been anybody else except for them. They know that you're one of a kind. So anything you get, anything you create, anything you could produce, I'm talking about even the children that you make. You know what I mean? Like it can go really low and very, very bizarre. Anything you create and anything that you, you produce from your hands, from you know anything that's given to you, anything that comes from you, comes from your mind, anything that you make, People will hate on and diss you for by their eyes, you know, by their the way that they look at you. They will just envy your life and envy how everything just seems to work out for you. And they cannot say anything about it. All they could do is glare at you and and, you know, look at you in a certain way that oftentimes can be um, categorized as very menacing, very threatening, very, um, you know, just very angry, very vilifying almost makes you feel like you want to just hide. Some people will just look at you and they'll, they'll grill you. They'll look through you. These people, sometimes they have eyes that look at you and it, you think they're looking at you, but they're actually looking through you. These people are piercing, giving you piercing gazes. And it's because these people are very upset about the makeup of your life and all the great things you're working on. And, and it's you, you know, it's you. You being a unique, one of a kind person, producing great things, creating amazing things, having amazing relationships, unions, able to bond with people, able to get down to other people's level. You know, you don't think you're on a high horse as a lot of them will accuse you of they'll give you dirty looks because you're able to get down with anybody. It's just that not everybody can get down with you. That's the thing about it. That's the thing I learned, you know? I had to learn that like, yeah, you may think you can get down with everybody, but not everybody can get down with the type of person that you are. And you're gonna see, there's gonna be this like game of tug of war where it's like, you're giving all, you know, people are taking everything from you and it's like, you're not getting nothing back, right? So. People will look at you in all types of weird ways because they're jealous of your life. They're jealous of your light. They're jealous of your attractiveness. They're jealous of your intellect. People will look at you because they're jealous of your promotions, your upgrades. They're upset that it's not them. They think it should be them. It shouldn't be you, even though they've not done the work to even acquire such uh, rewards here. They haven't done the work. So why are they pressed? Do the work and you'll get what you want. But they don't see it that way. They rather look at you in a menacing fashion and somehow think that's going to hurt your feelings or threaten you, what it's probably going to do is make you feel uncomfortable, right? But what you should know that it's usually a projection thing, right? Projection because maybe they feel like they don't look as good as you. Maybe they feel like they're not as, uh, you know, intellectual as you. They're not as humble as you. Because once again, we live on a superficial planet. So maybe people kind of look at you dirty, like who does that? Who goes to the soup kitchen? Who does that? 
Who goes out there and helps the homeless people on the streets? Who does that? And they'll look at you like you're doing a bad deed or you're involved in bad initiatives when in fact you're changing the world for the better. We need more of you on the planet. People look at you dirty like, you know, you know, who gets their hands dirty like that? Who does that? You know, but it's what they're really trying to say is I wish I could be like that. I wish I cared more about humanity, but I care too much about myself. I care too much about my own personal gain and saving my own skin. I don't care about these people out here. I don't care if these people, you know, lose their minds. They don't care. And this is why they look at you in dirty ways because they know that you're a really good person down to the core of it all. They'll give you dirty looks because they feel your spirit and they know your spirit is pure. They know that you're different. They know that you're anointed. They know you've been chosen to do different things. They know that you're humble. You're confident. You are a go-getter. However, you're able to get down to people's levels. Like you're not trying to move like you're bougie, right? So a lot of people will look at you because they can actually see these things about you. They may not be able to verbalize it in the best ways that they can because then they know they'd be giving themselves away of how they really feel about you. Sometimes all they can do is communicate with their eyes and the eyes are the windows to the soul. When these people look at you that way, I'm telling you, you can see what their soul looks like. And a lot of times it's dark. It's not of the best variety, okay? Some of these people will look at you because they know that you're everything that they wish they could be. And maybe they have good qualities too, but they're not fully working on themselves to the best of their ability. And instead they turn to this hating mode, this jealous mode, this envious mode, this warish competitive mode where they make you like the person that they want to beat, but they start losing themselves more and more. It's an endless cycle. They got to hop off that hamster wheel and see the world around them and make what they want to make of their life, right? So understand, yes, guys, that's what it is. Dirty looks. These people are just trying to tell you with their eyes what they really feel about you. But more importantly, what they feel about themselves, what they feel how their life is. Projection. Projection is real. Projection is deep, everybody. I'm telling you. But no matter how these people look at you out here, understand when you look at yourself in the mirror, you know who you are. You know, they know you know who you are. A lot of times they'll look at you funny because they know that. And when they look at themselves in the mirror, they don't know who they're looking at, what they're looking at. They change faces every day. You know, they put masks on every day to live the life that they want to, you know, show to certain people, but you live your true life. They see you, they know that. They'll give you dirty looks because of it. Make sure when you look at yourself though, you know who you are, right, everybody? Thank you so much for hopping on the Mindset Elevator, everybody. I love being here, as you always hear me say, because that's real. I love interacting with all of you. Let me know in the comments where you guys are all from. I want to know where all my new subscribers, returning subscribers, or people who stop once in a while, all right? I'd love to know where you guys are from. Name your country if you wish. Name the city, the town that you're from. And name something special about the place that you come from, all right? And maybe name, you know, just tell me something about yourself. Tell me about what you're working on if you wish to share. No pressure, but I'd love to know. All right, everybody, keep vibrating very, very high. And let me know as well if you've gotten dirty looks recently or throughout your lifetime from your people or from strangers in society. I'd love to know. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Keep up the high vibes. Keep living your best lives. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.